when I say forecasting, it means a lot of things to a lot of people. So I'm going to start with inventory management. So forecasting what inventory I need to have at Amazon, for, for example, or that I'm going to fulfill with. I looked at it per item per month, and I try and build a database that shows me that I can know what I forecasted and then what I actually spent. Okay. Now, you also have to take in consideration, this is where the human brain and, and software can't figure this out. Well, I know I sold more because for various reasons, I was 10% off or there was, or my ad spend went out or there's other things that happened. I had a competitor go down. I had to go down to fight. What have you take those things into consideration, but you need to know the unit. And then I look at, okay, I want to have four weeks on hand at Amazon. Okay. So if I sell X amount per week and I can look at the sales, I know I want to flow goods in. There's other considerations, right? LTV uh, or LTL, do I want to, do I get a better price per unit if I do a pallet versus a small parcel? These are things that, that everybody works through. Um, but that is what I look at. I look at that. So for, for me, because again, I'm, I'm informed by my retail, one of the biggest things we've been, we have killed it, Nick, on inventory management is, especially since they've changed capacity manager, we're not constricted now as much on large standard and oversized. I tell my thing, so I used to do this before COVID, is I want to front load, if I'm a highly Q4, highly holiday item, by September 15th, October 5th, 6th at the latest, I've got all the goods in FBA to service my holiday. I am front loaded. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of sellers don't do that. A lot of sellers, because of cash flow, because of many different reasonable understandable reasons delays delays right they, they chase it every week they they send in orders every week and you know what they're out of stock a lot and in q4 and holiday the one the the, the absolute death spiral is being out of stock right you can't yeah. be out of stock so you know the captain obvious who he who is in stock wins you got to have all the other stuff so i front load this in because I don't trust Amazon's timing. They're going from a national fulfillment uh, network to a regional. It's still not worked out in all categories. It's gotten better in some and worse in others. Their catalogs is an absolute mess right now, their catalog system. So I want to put myself in a position on our clients into as big as cushion as I can. And when I look at shipping into September and selling in December, I calculate what my possible risk of storage fees would be. Typically, depending on what your margins are, I'd rather pay the 1% storage fee and get the sales than, than have to try and risk flowing it in and not getting it in in time. So that's my inventory management forecasting. So, okay. You keep, ordinarily, you keep four weeks of inventory. That's what you are practicing. Yes. And, and during seasonal times, I want a little bit more in there, but four weeks is really four to six weeks is actually really steady because it accounts for all the receiving problems and everything else that could occur. Always measure risk, Nick, always measure risk. 